Hi Aries, welcome. This is the Empress. I'm going to take a look into you guys' it's February 2019 love readings. These are general reads, guys, so they will not resonate with every single Aries. All right, so if it doesn't seem to resonate, guys, don't forget to check your moon rising as well as your Venus signs, okay? So let's take a look. All right, here we go again, guys. This card has been popping out for every reading that I have done. It's strange, very, very strange. This is too many cards, so let's try this one again. All right, messages for Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? That card has been seeming to pop out for every, like, it's been popping out for every sign. What's going on, guys? Oh, wow, okay. Okay. All right, guys. All right, Aries. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay, so, or there's something that you guys are healing from, trying to heal a situation. All right, let's see. Please give me clarifiers. Remember, guys, that this energy could be you, your energy, or this could be another party's energy, the person that you're dealing with energies, okay? Um, it could be vice versa. So let's take a look. What messages do you have for Aries? For Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What messages? Please give me clarifiers for, this for Aries. Okay, guys, the past energy, guys, we have deception, okay? Present energy, we have unrequited love. Future energy, we have soulmate. At the bottom of the deck, guys, we have two of wands. So there's preparing or planning, okay? Some guys, some of you guys have decided to walk away from some type of conflict, okay? Someone here has possibly been being very cold-hearted, possibly mean, coming off really rude, um, and you decided that you were going to walk away from some type of conflict, okay? So you're making plans for the future. Aries, Aries, Aries. All right, guys, here with deception. This is past energy, guys. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Taurus, but some of you guys have feeling like you are stuck in some type of commitment. Um, some of you guys are definitely decided to do some juggling. We got the Two of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys could have been dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Taurus, a fire sign like yourself, but there's definitely some juggling going on, okay? Some of you guys have decided possibly like doing some flings or one night stands, or this could be someone that's doing this to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be you, but this is someone possibly doing this to you or you're doing this to someone else, okay? There's some deception going on. You guys are feeling stuck in some type of possibly marriage or there's some type of stuck in some type of commitment. And you, I feel like some of you guys are wanted, wanted some freedom or some space. All right, so we have unrequited love. There's not enough chemistry or balance here in this situation, okay? So some of you guys are feeling like you need a break, okay? There is, some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. Some of you guys um, have some type of offer possibly coming from um, someone, possibly a fire sign like yourself, um, a Leo Sagittarius Aries, but someone that's possibly like fun and spontaneous, okay? Um, some of you guys are tired of, of things of problems arising or things um, possibly falling apart and some type of someone is offering something or you're offering some type of happiness to someone else. Okay. I feel like going into the near future, we have soulmate, but we have the 10 of swords here. Okay. So there's some type of ending or some type of betrayal. Okay. I feel like there's a sense of someone possibly is hoping to revive this situation, but some of you guys are possibly thinking about being single. Some of you guys are still possibly tied into a situation like a marriage or something, but possibly living a single life is what I'm getting because we got the nine of pentacles here in the four of wands. So this is single and this is togetherness, um, marriage or long-term stability. Um, but I'm sensing like someone is feeling betrayed, like they betrayed um, a, someone that they felt as if they were just, there's their soulmate. Or there was an ending here. And someone is hoping for some type of reconciliation. There could be an Aquarius involved here with the star card as well. All right, Aries. Let's hop into the tarot read. That's some deep shit, guys. All right, so let's see. What additional messages do we have for Aries? Someone rising Venus. This is going to be for February. February 2019. What additional messages do we have? What additional messages do you have for Aries?
bottom of the deck, guys, strength card. So some of you guys are dealing with the Leo, but some of you guys are having a conf confidence to say something. Some of you guys are wanting to close a chapter and possibly in regards to the past. OK, so I feel like some of you guys are finding the courage to say something here. All right. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. OK, but some of you guys could be feeling as if someone is codependent or you are tied and bound to a situation. You're tired of being bound and tied to a situation. OK, so some of you guys are possibly a boss um, or you're building or you're you own your own business um, or this is something in regards to work. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer, but some of you guys are just tired of being bound to the situation. You're done. There's someone is possibly even codependent. Um, there's a lot of sorrow or heartbreak um, in the past. And there's something that you want to express here or you want to. You want, I feel like some of you guys want to express how you feel. There's a lot of sorrows, a lot of um, sadness here in this past energy. Okay, you're desiring to take action. It's something here about in regards to finances. Maybe you are trying to guard your finances. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So there's like a lack of resources. Um, and you're trying to probably possibly like hold on to the resources that you do have. So you're planning on taking action. Um, I'm sensing that you guys are really focused possibly in zoned in on work. All right. Going into the near future, you guys are going to possibly be communicating possibly with your friends. Possibly I'm feeling like sensing that some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus or there is some type of commitment or marriage here. Um, and I feel like there's possibly going to be some changes made in the near future. OK, so it's like something that. Something um, that is. Possibly an agreement that you guys had. I feel like there's possibly going to be like some type of changes. Why is the devil card here? Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Um, it's something about returning back to the past or going back to the past. Someone has some type of news. I'm sensing like someone is asking for something here. Um, and someone, I'm sensing like codependent. You're tired of someone being codependent on you. You feel like you get up and you go to work every day and you are doing what you need to do to move forward and progress. Um, and I sense that someone is possibly asking you for resources or draining your resources here. Um, and there's something like I'm sensing like there's going to be some type of change in agreements is what I'm getting going into the near future. OK, some of you guys are even dealing like with lawyers and getting things readjusted. OK. All right, Aries. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for the month of February, guys. All right. So there's going to be a lots and lots of new spreads coming to this channel. Don't forget to click the bell if you're new to my channel to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to like, drop your comment below, share. OK. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me, guys. Ciao for now. See you later.